You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome to our continuing coverage of CES Live 2015. I'm John P. And I'm Georgia. And we've got a special guest with us from our friends over at Nikon. We've got Lindsay here. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you guys? We are excellent. We're just, we, we have the greatest job ever. We just sit here and people bring toys and show them off. That's yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? It is not it's bad amazing. at all. It's the whole spirit of CES. <laughs> yes. It really is. And you have some new toys as well. So uh, what, what kind of new stuff are we looking at from Nikon this yeah, year? Yeah, we're, we're very excited. Um, first day of CES, we had announced uh, three new products. So one of them is a camera called the D5500. And this is it right here. It is uh, the next in line of a series of our D5000 cameras. But this is nice and exciting for me because it's even smaller than the previous generation. And what's really <laughs> exciting for me is that it's got uh, a first for a Nikon DSLR camera. It's got a touch capacitance oh, LCD really? screen. So you can set menu navigation, focusing if you're in live view. Touch to focus? Yeah, touch to focus if you're in live view. Wow. Um, but as a DSLR shooter, yeah. I like shooting with the optical viewfinder, and one of the really cool features of the touch is that when I bring the camera to my eye, I can actually use my thumb on the LCD screen and guide any of the 39 focus points I want to choose. Oh, so wow. very, very intuitive. That is very, sweet. Very, very intuitive. And you know, of course, playback is one of those things that I like to chimp my images, I take a picture, I always want to see what's sharp, what's yep. nice. And so I can actually do all those cool things that I've done with my, my, my tablets and yeah. my smartphones. I can pinch, I can swipe, I can zoom really, really fast. Oh, that's sweet. So, so this would be good even for like someone that's not a pro, they can use it and it makes it really inter easy to interface. Exactly, I mean this is a camera for those first timers coming to a Nikon DSLR or for some DSLR enthusiasts who want a smaller, lighter camera. Mm -hmm. So if I if I can, I'll turn around the camera. Yeah. And I've got some images here, and just like you would typically on any oh, other device, sweet. I can pinch, I can zoom, I can navigate around. So it's very, very familiar territory, so it wow. becomes really easy. Wait, is and that it, a hinge it takes screen away, too? Not only is it a hinge screen, but it swivels 360 oh. degrees. Nice. So if you want to shoot high angle, low angle, everywhere in between, especially for those who have uh, young kids, yeah, and you want to shoot some video, which of course this can shoot 1080p at 60 frames per second. Get down on their second. level. Yeah, you can get down on their level and really get some really effective video. So it's you know, a really, really nice package. I, uh, one of the things, I have, I have long been a fan of the P7800, uh, just a little pocketable. It's my right. absolute, in fact, I think I've recommended that camera to more people than any other single camera on earth. And I love having the hingeable screen on it. And yes. actually, it's probably not, you're probably not supposed to, but I'm sure you guys have thought of this. I use it as a support as well. It's like, you know, being able to get your hands further away, having yes. that screen yes. out there, you know, it, it puts pressure on that hinge, but, but it helps you make it stable too. Yeah. You know, more and more people are taking pictures than ever before. And you know, you're, you're in so many different situations when yep. you're taking pictures. It used to be that, especially for the amateur and the first time shooter, they would only take pictures when it was bright and sunny yep. or family events. Yep. That's not true anymore. No. People are taking pictures in the snow, in the rain, in the wind, and just like you said, there are times when you need to stabilize yourself and you might want to actually do that on the DSLR. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the cool things about a DSLR is, is its hand holdability, yes. great ergonomics, put your hand under, really brace yourself when you're shooting a picture. So those are hallmarks of the camera. Other exciting features on the camera is that, like some of our other DSLRs, this is a connected camera. And this is a connected world we live in. So you shoot these terrific 24 megapixel images with our DSLR, wow. and then you want to share them, you can just pair them up with a compatible smartphone or tablet, send them over there, and you can now share them with the rest of the world. And the coolest, selfie feature of them all is that you can use your smartphone or tablet as a view screen, oh. set up your camera any way no. you want, and then control the no. camera by touching touch, your smartphone or no. tablet. Touch, yes. to, touch yes. to shoot? Yeah, touch I the shoot and focus. Nice. Really easy, and we made that, it super easy to nice. do that. So it's a lot of fun to do that. Wow, that's By the way, great. this is such a small, uh, compact uh, camera body. I'm assuming this is like an APS-C size it is an camera. Yes, it is. We call ours the DX.
APS-X format, okay, which is a little format, slightly okay. different, but around that same okay. aspect ratio as APS-C. About a 1.6. 1.5 for us. A 1.5 right. crop factor. Another okay. exciting new product we just introduced with the camera is a 55 to 200 with a retractable lens design. Oh. If you notice here on the side of the camera, there's a button. And on, on the 5500, it's quite a compact you know, package yeah. together. This is a 55 to 200 millimeter lens. That's impressive. When you press the button and turn it, you turn the camera on, and now you've got your full zoom range. And we have a 1855 as a standard kit configuration with these two lenses. On a camera like this, you can go anywhere, shoot anything you want, whether yeah. it be stills, whether it be video, share, wow. play with it with touch, have a good time, and go enjoy your imaging. So we're really excited about that. I love that it recesses down because that's one of the things you worry about with your lenses when you're carrying around and yeah. putting them in a bag and stuff and you know just the, how much they're protruding. So yes. to be able to just recess that whole bad boy in there yes. and so take up less safer. space. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's awesome. But I also see you, I am staring, <laughs> I, I, I can't ignore it. I see a 300 millimeter lens right yeah. here on the table. Yeah, what you're Does looking that say at. one? Point four? No, no, that when, what we is write, that? when we write the aperture okay. on our Nikkor lenses, they're always written in an aspect ratio. Okay. So it's an F4, but what makes okay. it truly exciting is that we have had in our uh, lineup of really legendary lenses over the years, a 300 millimeter F4. It's been in the lineup for over 15 years. This one is a significant change. Firstly, it's 30% smaller oh. and one and a half pounds lighter. Wow! And that is because for the first time in an interchangeable uh, SLR lens, we're using phase Fresnel technology what is to build that. that. Yeah. Well, you ever see a lighthouse light, uh, those yeah. big lights, and they've got uh, on the glass dome of the light, concentric circles. Yeah. Well, that focuses the beam of light and sends it out really a long way. So they've used that technology in here to shrink the lens, eliminate some elements in the optical formula, and so you've got a lens, like I said, that is really about the same size as our 24 to 70 2.8. That's impressive. Quite an achievement in lens technology. And achieving, so. and keeping the same um, F4, yes. you know, light sensitivity, yes. you know, yeah. as well. That's yeah. a big deal. Yeah, exactly. Much smaller lens, but with the same amount of light gathering exactly. capability. Is, exactly, is and you know, deal. people, especially the pros and, yeah. and serious photographers who, enthusiasts who I, I love, they're my yeah. favorite photographers, because they shoot everything. Yeah. Concerts, low light, interiors and things like that, portraits. This is going to be really a hot lens. It's got yeah. our uh, AFS, which is our silent wave focusing system. It uses, if you see the N on the lens out there, that's a technology we developed a couple of years back called Nano Crystal Coat, which puts an optical coating on one of the elements in the optical formula down to a billionth of a millimeter. So really thin coating, and it's, uh, it increases contrast and prevents flare. And it's also got our ED glass, so it's chock full of those great Nikon wow. lens technologies. You guys technologies are always and it innovating down. everything, so it's amazing. It's I mean, Nikon doesn't do everything. You guys focus on photography, and you lead in that space. There's no doubt yeah, about it. Yeah, we're very, it. very proud of what yep. we do, and um, I work for a remarkable company. It's my 30th year. Wow. And I work for a remarkable company. They always want to make the products better. They're all about. How do we give the, our customers and our potential customers uh, uh, tools to really fulfill their vision? Whether you're just starting out or whether you're an experienced pro shooting 20, 30 years, they're always striving for the best. It's really quite, quite a thrill for me yeah. to, to actually do that. Distance, yeah, it really do. They, they really always do, do care it. About what they they do. really do. And How much does that cost? Uh, that'll be $1,999 for that. But I got to tell you, so far in the first day and a half of CES, the lens, people coming in the booth, it's not even an issue. They oh, no. just, they see a pound and a half lighter, exactly. thirty percent smaller to go. It's a, it's a gotta have on the list. Yeah. It's a yeah. gotta have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when wh what was the availability on everything? Uh, the camera will be available in uh, mid February. Okay. Uh, and the lens will be available in March. And what did you, what do you say the price point is going to be on the camera? The cam camera for the body will be eight ninety nine. Which is about where light. the outgoing model is yes. anyway. So, yes, okay. exactly. It'll be uh, $9.99 with the 18 to 55, and with an 18 to 140, it'll be $13.99, and the lens itself, the 55 to 200, will be $349.95. Okay, awesome.
Well, Lindsay, thank you so much for bringing the uh, the new toys over to show You're us. You're welcome. It's awesome. We're, I'm glad he brought them to us. We didn't have to go to him. I know, so, so, nice. so gracious of you. Uh, you guys stay tuned. You know where to get all the Nikon goodies, and uh, you know when they're coming. So hang in there. We've got more continuing coverage here coming out of CES 2015. Uh, so we'll be right back with you.